What's going on, Clan? AD here. We're back with another adventure with the Blood Prince, a dark eye vampire whose mission is to conquer the world. In the previous episode, we were heading over here to the Leviathan Coast. We made our way through the Cannibal Plains, assaulted a cannibal village, and then from there, uh, headed north. We're on our way to the strange ruins up here, where there's a guy named Frauder, which hopefully we can uh, finally kill him and take his blood so that we can recruit a Praetorian. Um, so we're just going around and exploring and getting into as much combat as possible. If you guys want to see more Kenshi, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. Uh, in the last episode we added somebody named Benno. Uh, he was actually the deluged king. Um, but we lost Frank Champagne in the last episode. Uh, he was our martial artist, and he died, unfortunately, uh, in the cannibal village. So uh, we had to basically uh, get somebody else on board, and we're still going to be recruiting lots more people in the future. Um, so we're going to continue our journey here. We've got uh, an unknown object here that we can check out, so I want to see what that's all about. And... Why, well, shit, why not? Let's just get right into battle with an army of Garus here. Here we go. Oh my god, they're gonna trample us. There's so many. Alright, we're taking a lot of hits. Beep is down. Oh, jeez. I'm seeing a lot of red here. T-Lord is down. Silence down. Demon Babe is down. Pixel. Come on, Benno. Help me out, man. Mr. Jack and Benno working together. We've got Lord Sed taking a few hits here. Oh, Nari is down. Alright, I think we're, we're winning this battle. We're turning the tide. We've got Eile over here swinging wildly. Nice damage. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay. Let's not get too crazy here. Agnew, you take this guy out. And everybody else just heal up. Medic up. Yeah, medic up. And looks like Hazard got went down as well. Yeah, don't let these guys get away. Holy hell. Got some large leviathans here. Alright, Beep is getting back up. <laughs> Beep's like, what'd I miss? Alright, well done. Okay, got a couple more Garus here. <laughs> Gonna be known as the Garu Slayer. A lot of you guys have been suggesting some really cool ideas uh, as far as when we build a base, like making like a memorial hall for our fallen friends um, that's a really good idea there's so much we'll be able to do when we build a base especially in this mod I think we have so many more things uh, like research like building like so many different buildings that we can make we got more tech hunters coming in Beep is going to be unconscious for a little while. Um, damn, we got more Garus too. Try to get out of here. <laughs> We've got a fallen tower. Doesn't look like there's a way inside this. There's a massive amount of beak things over here. And we also have the forge over here in the southwest and when we were talking to uh, the people at Ten Town, they were telling us something about this forge so I'm kind of curious to see what the forge is all about we have a wounded leviathan oh my gosh what is going on over here look at all these garus man We've got a wounded Leviathan. You can see he's taking a little bit of damage. He's wounded. But you can't even tell. Like, he's got so much health. Wow, this place is nuts, man. Leviathan Coast? There's no way I would build up here. 
There's too many wildlife. Like, just a lot of wildlife all over the place. Let's see, Blood Prince is encumbered by 91%. What the heck is going- oh, he's got AI cores. That's not gonna do. He's, his run speed is 8. Okay, we gotta trade some of this, uh... Let's see, Mr. Jack needs some strength anyways. Oh, I, I gave this backpack to Chaos and he just dyed it red. Oh, that's cool. And what color does Benno dye, I wonder? Let's see, do we have a, one of those backpacks we could try? Patrick has one. Let's give it to Benno really quick. And if Benno puts it on... Oh, he dyed it blue. That's cool. Well, I don't know about the armor dying. We probably just have, like, people with various colors. Just to... That way it kind of, like... You know, people are kind of separated out. Like, gives people a variety. But mostly will be black and red. Black and red are like my two favorite colors, like dark red like this. With black. Like whoever made the crimson guys like had my aesthetic like down. Like this is exactly what I like. Like this color with dark black. Hell yeah. Alright, anyway, let's have the Blood Prince run down. Now that he's a little bit faster, 33 run speed. Let's go into the forge. I'll leave everybody here. Hanging out for a second. Just go on hold. There's gotta be some friendlies in here, right? Tin Guardian. This place is open to the public. Let's take a look. You got anything worth stealing anywhere? Kind of nice to have a few allies, but, uh... Oh, wait, here's a... Corvus the Forge Lord. Wow, this guy's pretty strong, and he looks pretty boss. There's a safe. Safe is empty. There's really nothing in here to loot, so... Wait a minute. All this stuff is empty, it says. Yeah, it looks like they've... Probably looted it all. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. Uh, Corvus the Forge Lord. How did you get in here? Get out! Ah, well, in that case, how would you like to earn... How would I like to earn what? Did... <laughs> Where's the rest of his dialogue? Okay. Alright, whatever. There's really nothing in here. I don't even know what the point is. He's a martial artist, too. Alright, that's fine. We'll let them be for now. Ooh, there's an ancient lab on this island. Alright, I get I'm getting too distracted though. I wanna get let's get to the strange ruins and finish our goal. <laughs> then we can take a couple detours on the way back. There's a ruin here as well that we can hit. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go right through a beak thing nest. They have beak thing eggs, might as well take them. And this guy here, Tech Hunter, doesn't know what to do. He's like, man, I wanna fight these guys, but I don't wanna run into the beak things either. Take it like a man. Here we go. Attack all. Get in there. Do some damage to him fast. Okay, T-Lord's down. Hazard's uh, down right now. I think he's being carried. Good hits, Eile. Midnight's down. Left arm took some damage. Uh, same with Silent. We got a lot of people with bounties. <laughs> we are wanted. Oh, 
Oh, Mr. Jack took a hit. All right, take these two down and let's heal. Uh, let's see, Lord said, why don't you come down here, get all these beak thing eggs. Bunch of uh, first aid kits on the ground. Oh wait, yeah, I dropped those. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we got some big things, uh, big thing eggs. Kill these garus. We're getting close to these ruins over here. Okay, let's put everybody on hold. Let's free up uh, the blood prince's inventory space a little bit. Let's see, he's overloaded. A little bit encumbered. Okay, the Blood Prince is moving in. Let's take a look and see what's inside before we send everybody in there. Just take a quick peek. Okay, this is called Dangerous Trap. Well, that doesn't sound too good. There we go. What's in here? Oh shit, who's that? We found Frauder, and dude, he looks like a beast. 120 attack, 126 defense, 116 strength, 92 dex. Actually, his dex is way higher than that because it's minus negative 4, or negative 54. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, he wants to fight. Alright, the Blood Prince versus Frauder. Here we go. Drop the backpack. We're not overloaded. Let's make it happen. Oh! Holy, three strikes and the Blood Prince is down. My god. This dude is strong. Blood Prince getting back up. What's upstairs? Anything? Uh, just a bunch of nothing, really. <laughs> okay. Blood Prince getting back up here. He can't even get up. Can't run from this. Damn. Okay, where is he going now? Okay, let me get my backpack. Someone's warning message. Let's read that warning message really quick. What's that say? Don't go in there. Never trust him. Yeah, never trust him. He's already attacking me. Okay, we're going to need to gang up on him. So we need all of our strongest people. So we're definitely going to need Timothor. Let's see, who else? We need... Uh, Damn it, we need Hazard in here. Okay, let's rest. We need to rest up. Alright, we uh, are all healed up here. We killed a couple more tech hunters that uh, found us. I'm noticing that the, the pathfinding is weird here. Like, I'm clicking and the people, nobody's moving. I don't get it. It's like people are stuck now when I came down here and started camping out. Um, but anyway, let's get, uh, let's get some of our stronger people over here. Pick Soul. Uh, Patrick, we're gonna send in... We should probably send in a couple skeletons. Let's, let's get Blofeld in here. And, let's see, Lord Set is kind of wounded. Damn, I wanted to take him with us, but... God, everybody's overloaded. We got so much crap, man. Alright, we're gonna send Nari and Ailey in as well. Um, oh yeah. Let me send T-Lord as well, because T-Lord has that... T-Lord has really good armor, so he should survive. Everybody else is basically on standby. We're going to send everybody else in. Oh, wait, we need Timothor, too. Uh, we'll send everybody else in when we start... When people start going down. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's take him out. God, this guy is going to be... He's going to crush us. All right, guys, spread out. Do some damage. Eile, take off your backpack. Oh, you can't. Damn. All right, never mind then. Here we go. Here we go. Nice damage on him. Oh, good swing hazard. 
Broder has two robotic limbs. There you go. Oh, jeez, Eileen, watch out. Nice, Blofeld. Okay, T-Lord's left arm is hurting. All right, just back off, man. Wow, good swinging. Wow, he wasn't actually that hard. Now that when you put five on one on him, but one on one, that guy is insane. Or hell, one on three, he would probably destroy. I wonder if we can recruit him. <laughs> he's got an epic fragment cleaver. And he's got masterwork grade uh, samurai leg plates. Awesome. We can give those to Patrick. Kind of upgrade Patrick a little bit here. Yeah, so we'll give Patrick that unholy armor. Unholy plate armor looks sweet. And Patrick actually could use his weapon because Patrick doesn't have a uh, a cleaver. Or actually, let's see, Timothor already has one. Alright, I'm going to give Timothor the fragment cleaver. Uh, if I can. I'm going to give him, it's a hacker, right? Yeah, give him the fragment cleaver. Um, my towel and then or my toe and then I'll give Patrick Timothor's my toe cleaver which is 1.65 1.40 on the blunt and this is 1.65 uh, 0.96 and this also has plus 25 percent to robotics and this only has plus 10 percent a um, little bit more armor penetration on this one but either way this one's a little bit better so we'll hook him up with that, and where am I going to put this? Give it to Pixel. I need to give it to somebody for a second. Take his armor. He's got engineering research and Frauder's blood. We could take his blood. Oh, that's right. We can't. We have to kill him. He's got two KLR limbs, left and right. Nameless Tech Hunter's notes. Today we're going to enter a place from Rumor... Enter the place from the rumors in search of a legendary weapon. It's quite famous place amongst the Tex hunters. If this works out well, we'll walk away with lots of cats. Gildan told us not to go, but we're not cowards like him. Whatever happens, we're coming back with that weapon. Well, I guess they didn't. They didn't get it. All right. Well, we're gonna take Frauder's blood, and uh, we'll just kill him. Frauder is dead. What a beast, man. But, honestly, I think Malza was even stronger for some reason. Probably because, yeah, Malza had 400 HP on pretty much every limb. Okay, let's get Silent in here to take these robotic limbs. There we go. Take his robotic limbs. I don't know what's going on with the pathfinding here. Like, everything is so delayed. Okay, everybody inside. It's going to take me, like, 10 years to loot everything in here, if there is anything. Yeah, actually, I probably need to reload Kenshi. I'm gonna <laughs> stop the recording here and uh, reload the game. Because, yeah, it's like there's something weird going on. Like, I click and then nothing happens for like 10 seconds and then they move. Alright, I think that's a little bit better. Uh, restarted the game. Seems like it's a little bit more responsive, but there's something weird with this area. So, we'll just try to loot what we can and get out of here. Man, there's some good weapons here. Oh, yeah, man. Edge type 2, 3. Hell yeah, look at all these weapons. Really curious why they called it Dangerous Trap. Is it just because uh, of him there? Uh, Frauder? Or what? Hello, we got some stuff here. Crossbow. Got some more weapons here. In uh, moon sickle, ring saber. I think Jeebus needs a new weapon anyway. He's using like a paladin's cross, crappy grade or something. Ancient science books hidden back there. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this area.
This guy was just hiding out back here. Okay, well, I'm gonna give this cleaver to Patrick. Uh, no, wait, I already did. Never mind. Let's see, who could use it? We can give it to Blofeld. Blofeld was using a .93, .77, so this is 165, 96. A lot better than what he was using. We also got some Dark Samurai arm, uh, helmet here. We can give this to somebody. But uh, I'll probably look at all that later when we get back to uh, back to base. Timothor just needs a Maito weapon because he's just such a beast. I mean, he gets a good weapon and he'll stay alive for a long time. All right, well, see ya, Frauder. I want to get out of this area. It's really buggy. Something, something weird with the pathing here. Okay, there's a town called Leviathan to the southeast. Maybe we should check that out. I also want to see this ancient lab to the far west. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a ruin there, and then we could just kind of head south through the Iron Trail again. Let's maybe check out Leviathan and see if we're friendly with them. Maybe we can sell some of the loot we have, because we are walking super slow here. <laughs> we're coming up on a town here called Leviathan. And it looks like these guys are friendly. These are also the Ten Men. So I think we'll be able to come in here. And it looks like they have like some bars and shops and stuff. So hopefully we can offload some of our equipment. There's actually quite a few ruins. There's an outpost and a ruins up here. And there's also, I think, a town over here. And then there's on the far west side, there's this ancient lab. So I think, and this ruin here, so I think, I think it would be cool to try to hit up these various outposts and ruins while we're here, uh, before we head back south. Um, because it'll probably be a while before we come back up this way, so uh, I, I kind of want to try to hit up these ruins and take back as many research books and AI cores and so forth as possible. So that way we just have enough. Let's talk to the Tin Captain. This guy's pretty much saying the uh, the same thing uh, as the last guy that we talked to over in the forge. Um, okay, let's just take a peek here. What are they at? Okay, all the skeletons are at war with us, so we're not going to be able to do anything with them. Um, It's got a cool looking town though, the way they've got this set up. Of course, all the traders are we're at war with. For the most part. Okay, let's go over here. Might be able to sell some loot to this guy in here. If there's anyone friendly. Uh closing time, let's wrap it up now, Drifter. Okay, get out. <laughs> The pathfinding is still weird. You can see, you can see like the uh, some of the graphical issues here uh, when I scroll. It's kind of there's something something about Leviathan Coast. It's always been like that too. Even in vanilla, I think it had some issues. Okay, up here we've got the Ten Scholars. Let's check this out. Let's do business. Okay, they got some blueprints, which we already know. Ah, uh, except foreign sabers. We don't have that one. Why not? We'll buy it. It's 14,000. I can get rid of some stuff. I didn't realize this guy already... He has 133,000. Wow. Okay. Hell yeah. Man, we're gonna make so much money. Look at that. We're selling all of these CPU units for like six grand a piece. I'm going to keep the generator cores because uh, they're uh, they're good for weight training. All right, we're up to 142,000. <laughs> We've made a lot of money here. Hell yeah. Oh, that's great. Sold pretty much everything. We, got, we still have some people with uh, some loot on them. But for the most part, we got rid of all those CPU units and beak thing eggs and whatnot. So well, they got some books here too. But uh, I don't want to... I think we'll stay friendly with these people. Because it's always nice to have a place to sell loot. 
And they have an armor shop. I want to check out what they have. See, the cool thing is when you have money and you have a ton of loot, you could just buy stuff and then sell what you have, you know, if you have loot. Um, so, I mean, once you have enough... Once you go exploring, basically, and you have a ton of items to sell, it's just like you, you don't have to steal anything anymore. You can just buy whatever you want, which I like. It's, it gets kind of old stealing everything all the time. But I guess in the early game we had to. I mean, there wasn't really much choice. Really just depends on what the cost is, too. Like, I'm not going to pay... Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? Martial artist breastplate? Damn it. Where was this when we... Need, when We, uh, we could have given this to Frank. This would have probably protected him, too. Yo, we need this. How much is it? 8900 Mr. Jack. Actually, this faded robe, though, is pretty nice. But I think the faded robe is still too weak. I mean, this has better cut resistance. Wait a minute. Chest, though. Ah, damn. This is actually better. Look at this. This protects everything. This protects his whole body. We gotta get a higher grade version of that. Can we buy that? Damn it. I want that blueprint. I'm gonna buy that though, just because um, if we get another martial artist, we might need that armor. So, let's have Hazard buy that, just in case. That's pretty good. You might not see that again. Looks like you could probably steal some, some items from uh, this... Uh, this little workshop over here. But, uh, I think I'll bypass that. Let's go in the backpack shop. Yeah, nothing too good there, except a blueprint I bought. The leather short boots. Alright, overall, pretty cool. Oh my god, look how many leviathans there are. This town is surrounded. The leviathans are taller than the town. Okay, there's some ruins to the north over here, over this hill. Let's we'll see if we can get there in one piece. Oh god, guys, run! Oh no! Everybody run! <laughs> is, uh, Blofeld, where are you? Get out of there! <laughs> Keep going, guys. We got a leviathan hot on our tail. Okay, good. The uh, beak thing kind of distracted it. Oh, it looks like they uh, it did hit us a little bit. Ouch, T-Lord got really wounded in the arm. Okay, gotta watch out for those. Oh, there's a little... There's a mini Leviathan. And, uh, yeah, it's a pup. And it still has 100... 79,000 HP. Or maybe that's 17,000. I can't really, t like, the numbers go... Who knows? Who knows what it is? It's it's a lot, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ancient science book over here. <sighs> These Garos just sneak up on you. Alright. Let's get over here. Heal up. Watch out, Solid. You got a Garo right on your tail. Nicely done, guys. Oh, beep. Taking a few hits. Okay. Let's get every make sure everybody's off of hold here. There we go. Um, all right, damn. We got more coming in now. God, this place is nuts. There we go. Okay, come on. 
Okay, we got more. All right, Blood Prince, why don't you come over here and loot this stuff? Everybody else, you take care of those. Got to multitask a little bit here. I'm going to pick up these books. Okay, we got Demon Babe over here fighting four Garus at once. Nice. Okay, come back. Come on, guys. Come back. Let's not go all over the place here. There you go. Take them down. Okay, let's get back over here. Let's see what's inside. This is probably a library. Yeah. Alright, I need to put everybody on hold again. Just getting Everybody's just running around. Everybody on hold. Don't go anywhere. I'm running into that issue again where everything is delayed. Like I click on something and it takes him like 5-10 seconds to move. It's something with that uh, up here. I want to get out of the, the north. Um, just want to hit up the re rest of these ruins quickly. We've learned the location of a couple new things. We've got an outpost over here in the east. Uh, there's something in the crater. Oni Castle in the crater, as well as a ruin. And another ruin over here, or outpost. Not bad. Okay, we got everything out of the library. We got some research books and um, learned a few locations. So uh, let's see, we're at this lost library. I think I think we're gonna head southwest. I want to hit the hit up this ancient lab, hit up this ruin, and we'll just work our way back south. In the distance, we got this ancient lab. We're gonna have to swim across the ocean here to get to it. However, it looks like they've got some interesting kind of architecture over there. So there might be some good loot. A couple buildings. Thrall barracks. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it out. We're going to take everybody and just in case it's a big trap. Okay, looks like we're getting closer uh, over here to the ancient lab. and We've got uh, these re reprogrammed thralls. Which, uh, they're only 25 in stats, not too, not too good. However, god, we got all these Garus around. Okay, we gotta avoid this for now. Um, I don't want these Garus to attack us in the water. Jeez, we're gonna die. Maybe it was just because we were close to shore. I don't know if they can actually attack like skin spiders can underwater, but... Um... They are kind of helping us out a little bit, though. But if we have to fight Garus and uh, these, that's going to be kind of nuts. Okay, well, let's just try to get to shore. Oh, there they already go. Everybody just um, swim as fast as you can and get to shore. We're going to have to just fight them on land. Stay, stay hiding as much as you can here. Everybody just go on hold though. Get up here. Okay, they fought, they saw us. Damn. All right, we're almost. Everybody's almost there anyway. So okay, let's go off hold with uh, pretty much everyone off of sneak. Get up here and attack here. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Come on, T Lord. Come on, man. Get up here. Swimming slow. Alright, Jeebus. Get out of the water. Stay out of the water, guys. Come on. Come on, get to shore. Okay, we got some Cyberblade up here with Patrick and Midnight crushing these thralls. Patrick just sent that one to the netherworld. <laughs> okay, we got some fighting over here at the gate. Big Soul, put your uh, lantern back on so I can see something. <laughs> Alright, let him go. Let him go. Everybody get up here. I just get out of the water. It's really annoying me. I'm trying to fight these Garus and stuff in the water where they can attack you but we can't attack them kind of thing. 
These guys have junk anyway, so get up here. Everybody up here. And stay on hold. Cannibal butcher table. What are these guys doing in here? Okay, we've got uh, Whistler's Legionnaire. Skeleton repair beds. Okay, go off of hold, get inside, attack all here. Let's crush them. No, you guys come back here. Don't even worry about fighting these guys out there. Yeah, take out the Legionnaire. What kind of armor has he got? Ancient samurai armor. He's got a decent pole arm. Yeah, it might take that. Nice hit, Jeebus. Oh, these guys are healing. Don't let them heal. Okay, let's not try to go into each place yet. Let's just take these guys out first. There you go. Come back, Eily. Damn, I gotta put everybody on hold or what? Alright, everybody's going on hold. Take this guy out. Don't give him a chance. There you go, Benno. Demon babe. Nice. What's this guy have? Mostly junk. Alright, they're outside healing. Kill them all. Okay, let's move on to the next building. I think they're probably coming from the other building. And uh, we'll take them out in here, too. Oh, maybe they already came. Came out. Alright, yeah, so they're... Got it. Still, some of them are alive. I have to knock them out. There you go, Timothor. Whoa, 219. Just send in Timothor. He'll take care of them all. <laughs> what kind of goodies do we have in here? Anything good? Or is it going to be all empty? Okay, I got some supplies. They got peeler machines in here as well, so they're not fooling around over here. Oh, they got a fancy rug. I'm taking that. Give me that rug. Bloodprint says yes. We've got Garus coming up from behind. Everybody off hold, take him out. God, I'm seeing a lot of red. Yeah, they're doing pretty weak damage, though. I'm seeing a lot of, like, 4s and 14. Not really doing much damage to Jeebus. Mr. Jack over here, just crushing. We got a couple more coming in. Another group of them. Jeez. I swear, the Garus are hunting us down, too, just like the bulls. It's like we got a target on our back. I was silent, liking that new weapon. Just doing good damage with it. Alright, I think we slaughtered enough Garus uh, for the time being. Everybody heal up. I think we're still okay, strong enough to fight whatever's inside here, hopefully. Let's just do a full assault. Just take a look, see what we got. Okay, we got some pro uh, reprogrammed thralls. There's got to be something dangerous inside. All right, let's do it. Nice midnight. Beep, leading the charge. Good swings. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? 
Some more thralls. Got another legionnaire. Oh, what's this? Okay, this guy is nuts. Holy. All right, hold on a second. Wow, it looks like they took one of the uh, one of the unfinished models that they didn't add into the game. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna send in Timothor, Patrick, and the Blood Prince, and they're gonna make their way upstairs to fight the Legionnaire. Oh, this guy's been living good. He's been living the good life up here. He's got himself in his own little throne room and everything. All right, time to disrupt that. Okay, everybody full full speed ahead here. Let's get upstairs to fight him. All right, go, go, go. Come on, Timothor. Oh, 71% uh, encumbered. Okay, well, you better just stay down here then. Blood Prince is going in. Where is he? Whistle, whistle, whistle. Oh, that guy's super fast. Cut Timothor, he's coming by you, buddy. Oh! Somebody get in there. All right, Blofeld. Help us out, man. Keep an eye on this Whistler guy. This, this dude is nuts. He's got a lot of HP, so we gotta be careful. All right, we got the couple Legionnaires here. All right, get in on this, guys. Blood Prince isn't taking much damage, but Timothor, though, is taking a beating. All right, it's just a Blood Prince and Timothor ganging up on the Whistler. Where is he? I can't even see him. All right, get out of here. Where's this guy? All right. Oh, watch out, Timothor. You guys are having trouble taking out the uh, other guys. Can I get some help over here? Patrick? Get over here. Timothor's got to be careful, man, because he's got... Oh, Timothor is down. Took a hit to the head. All right, I got Patrick over here helping me out. We are working this thing. All right, guys, get in there. Be careful here, Midnight. You better roll back, man. I don't know if this guy can do 100 damage in one hit, but probably. Better get out of there. Get out of there, Midnight. Mr. Jack. Yeah, he can take it. Wow, he can do 92 damage because he just did 92 to Lord Said, so... Okay, be careful. There you go. Stay on him. God, this guy can rival the... Blood Princess. Oh! Nice. Alright. Lord Set. Uh, let's see. Eile. Get in here. Blofeld. Demon Babe's arm is hurting. Nice. Demon Babe. Get in there. That's it. Seven. Having trouble swinging because we're ganging up on him, but... Damn, we gotta recruit this guy if possible. This guy's a beast. Blood Prince is impressed. Alright. Oh, he's down. Got him. Okay, what's what else we got here? Okay, just got a couple thralls coming. No big deal. All right. Lofeld, what's he have? All right, we better not loot him because... I think if we take this stuff, he'll probably die. Spiked. Uh, we could probably take his, his weapon. All right. Yeah, he's rebooting. Okay. Let's repair him. Let's do some repairs. 
somebody get over here, do some repairs. Whistler are no longer hostile to you. Oh. Can't even see his body. There he is. Alright, nice. Wow, this guy is super strong. Let's pick him up. Pick up the Whistler. We're taking him back with us. Alright, well done, guys. Um, let's take a look inside here. Alright, Lofeld's got a backpack, so let's get him up here. Okay, I found a couple uh, Whistler's journals. It'd be interesting to read that. Let's take a look here. Uh, Whistler's Journal 1. Catlon was the best bet for salvation after everything fell apart. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of history here. Apparently this guy was doing some experimenting on... Uh, I don't know what, but... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I think they added some extra content in Genesis... All right, well, there's not really that much good loot up here, so I guess we're gonna get out. But we got ourselves a potential recruit, so that's that's a positive. Holy hell, our minions are getting attacked back here by uh, Kral's Chosen. Uh-oh. Come on, Brook. Minions are on hold. Get off hold. Crush them, Brook. What the heck? Uh-oh. Damn, I'm not going to be able to do anything about this. Oh, no. Brooke, get out of there. What the hell? Oh, no. They're going to just slaughter our minions, aren't they? Kill this guy, Brooke. Brooke can't take them all. Damn. Get out of there. Damn, she's just losing her health, too. Really fast. Blood. Alright. Damn, our minions are going to be toast. I think we're going to lose them. <laughs> They're probably going to butcher them. Where's the... Where the hell is the... Are these... Is Crawl's Chosen allied with... The Surgeons? I have no idea. We only took out, like, one or two of them. Not even. Yeah, two. These guys just straight up raided the area. Oh, wait. The Grill of the Surgeons are healing the minions. Okay, good. Alright. Now we just gotta get them out of here somehow. Are they leaving? Yeah, I think they're leaving. Okay, good. Brooke, come back in here, and hopefully they heal you. Or take them out. Take these guys down. There you go. Nice, Brooke. There you go. Come on. Come on, Brooke. Yeah, but she can't do it. She's down. Damn. Hopefully they don't butcher her. Okay, Brooke's back up. She's fighting. Nice, Brooke. All right, heal Brooke, please. Thank you, surgeons. Thank you. We're swimming our way uh, a little bit across the ocean here to the shore, bypassing some of these leviathans. Uh, we just left Whistler's exile and now we're going to try to hit up this ruin over here and then from there we'll try to head south and um, try to make our way back to hope we're coming up on this ruin over here to the top of this mountain where you can over you can <laughs> look out and see pretty much everything um, but anyway we've got a couple books here that we can grab so let's just uh, grab a few of those and let's see, we got a skeleton repair kit. And pretty much that's it. Nothing really exciting up here. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We captured the Whistler. We're going to take him back and hopefully we can recruit him. 
and get him on board because he's just a beast and Bloodprints needs stronger people for what's to come. So if you want to see more Kenshi in the future, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.